This recording will show you how to create multiple streams and then um, how to arrange and organize them. First thing I need to tell you is that the default environment we work in is we work with a selection tool. The other tool that we'll be using in this one is the time shift tool and maybe we'll uh, play a little with the envelope tool as well. Um, these three tools we use a lot. These other tools, the draw tool I don't use at all. Multi-tool I've tried once but I don't, it, it, the multi-tool is basically combining these. I prefer just to use these separately. And the zoom tool I don't use because I just simply zoom here. So I don't really find that as useful as maybe they intended it to be. Now, I'm going to make one assumption. You've already created several files. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, how to now import them as a project. So you don't go to File and Open, you go to Project and Import. Okay. So Import Audio. We're going to go to the right place. Now I um, had that set up moments ago, but I guess we've got to quickly find them again. Um, so let's go to that spot, go to Classes. Uh, let me just find that right spot for you. Okay, um, here we go. So, I'm going to make the assumption you've got an introduction, you've got units 1, 2, and 3, and you've got a conclusion. We can just import them all. Grab them, so you click down, and while you've got a down click, you drag it over all of them, and you say, okay, open. Boom! There they all are. The next thing you want to do is you want to make them fit. So fit vertically, then they're going to squeeze them down a little bit, and you can see them all. Now, you can drag these into place. Because, for example, you've got conclusion, introduction, unit 1, 2, and 3. Well, we want the conclusion at the end, and everything will be fine. But you cannot click on that X, because that'll kill this whole line. You cannot click there, because that allows you to change the name. Instead of conclusion, you can change the name. You can make it a mono instead of um, stereo, and this type of stuff. So. Uh, you can set the sampling format and the bit rate and all that, but so we don't want to click there because that affects it. If you click on solo, that will uh, make these others inactive that you only can hear this one. So unclick solo and you can hear them all. So if you want to hear just this one, you click this one and so on. So and mute means just silence this one, the opposite in a way. Now so where do you click? Well, you click on where this says mono 4410 and so forth. This is where you drag it. So what you do, we want to take conclusion to the end. Click down and while you've got it held down, you drag it. Drag, 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 drag. It's at the bottom. Now it's introduction, unit 1, 2, 3, conclusion. Great. So easy, huh? You just click down there and while you click, you drag and drop. Great. Now we've got it in place. So the next thing you do is you change gears. We're in the select tool right now, so it's all this thing can do is select and then cut and paste, copy and do, and if, uh, make effects and stuff like that that you used to. But that's not what we want to do. We want to drag the sound file around. So click on the time shift tool. This is your introduction. Now you can slide things around. So you say, okay, this is where the speech ends, so this is where it starts, so I can overlap them, then it starts there. This one, um, but man, we run out of space here. What now? This is where this comes in very helpful to zoom out. So let's zoom out a healthy bit, like that. So there you got that. Now I can zoom there, I can zoom there, and zoom there, and then I go. Let's go all the way to the beginning and play it. Welcome. This is the introduction. This is unit one. This is unit two. This is unit three. This. The Isn't that nice? So at this point, if you want to save this project because you want to come back and tweak things again, move it, for example, I noticed this need, needed to move, moved over and so on. If you need to save it, you go save it as a project. So save project as, give it a name and so forth, and, um, and it saves it as AUP. Remember this, AUP is only Audacity project files can't be used, don't send them around, say listen to this, it doesn't happen, you can only use them in this context, so this is only to save the project. So, now you've saved the project, then you can close up and you open that project and you get right back to this spot. Um, at this point, I want to show you some cool things that you can do 
um, sound-wise. Um, you've got this, this is the introduction unit, one, two, three, this conclusion. What about little music in between? Okay, let's go find it. So import audio, um, go up, let's go to the music, and now I'm going to go into, um, it's what do we want. We want the introduction sound, we want the transition, and an end note. Say open. Okay, but I need that transition sound there, 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 and there. So I need it once, I've got it, two, three, four. So I need it three more times. So open, import the transition. I'm going to import three more of them. Import transition to click. That's two, three, four. Now we've got them. So what do we do? We say fit vertically. Oh, now they squeeze quite a bit. Got the introduction. Okay, now let's scroll down to the bottom. We want the not the transitions, we want the intro sound. And this is the guy. Okay, so let's scroll up. We want him at the very top. So click down, drag it to the top. Good. Then we've got the introduction, then we want a transition sound. So let's click right there and say so between the introduction and unit one. That's right. So don't worry about this yet. Just focus on this column. Now unit one and between unit one and two we want a transition. Got it. Between unit three, two and three we want a transition. Uh, no, um, unit 2 and 3 transition, and we want a transition between unit 3 and conclusion, and then the conclusion, and then the end note. Oh, we've got extra transition. Well, bye bye. Now it's gone. Okay, time to zoom out. Now we just need to place them nicely. So, scroll to the top. We've got our intro sound, then kind of with it still in the background, we can put that there. When it's done, we oops, play the transition sound then the next unit starting about there then then once again the transition sound then we slide it over there with unit 2 and let's keep going transition sound put it there unit 3 transition sound about there conclusion and finally we're done so that's simple let's go to the beginning and listen to this whole thing here we go ready Pretty nice, isn't it? So you can go and save it as a project again, but then you want to save the file as your final product that you now want to post. And at that point, you go to export as MP3. The tracks will be mixed down to stereo channels because we've got stereo channels in here. You say, no problem. Let's go for it. You give it a name and you save it and you've got your file. But remember, this is now a single track, so you can't go back and edit this one in the same way as these. Um, you've got to save a project to be able to do that. Hope this was helpful to you to really get a good feel for how to do this and um, I hope you'll have a lot of fun. It takes a little time to get to know things, give it a name, when you save a file. So how I recommend you do this is save the pieces beforehand. And now for, for a big punchline here. If you're going to do a presentation, um, or let's say a lecture, you do not start with the introduction. That's the last thing you do. The reason is this. If you were to start with it, you are guessing yourself what's coming because it's not in the past tense to you, it's also in the future to you and to your audience. Whereas if you do the contents first, now the content of this is past tense to you. So as you speak about it, you speak with authority, you speak with precision and clarity. Whereas if you do it after you do the introduction, you still have to guess what you're going to do. It makes a big difference in your mindset and how you present it. So I always encourage you to do the introduction at the end. Thank you.